Hi there, it's Pete. Um, I'm just going to show you some of my guitars that actually live right behind me here. Um, obviously, you won't see them um, unless I'm playing them. Um, yeah, so my first guitar is an electric acoustic bass. I absolutely love this one. I bought it about 19 years ago for about, it was nearly £400. I think it was £399. So I had a look on eBay um, for a brand new one, this sort of um, style. Um, I think it is a, a BA550 now, the actual models, for the same sort of thing. Um, yeah, so they're about 450 now, so they haven't really gone up that much. Um, obviously, you can get dearer ones and you can get cheaper ones. But for this sort of model, it's about £450 now. So, yeah, it's a great, great guitar. It's, um, it's got an ash and maple sort of combination body uh, with a mahogany neck and rosewood fingerboard uh, with a built-in um, tuner um, obviously with the, with the preamp um, like I said about 450 now I mean I paid 400 for this one but that was about 19 years ago so um, it's a really great when it's plugged in um, If you recognise the little tune. I can still remember that one, playing that one now, all those years ago. Um, and also we used to play... Remember that the chain by Fleetwood Mac. Right, so that's my um, Crafter electric acoustic bass um, with all the bits and pieces. About four hundred pound um, at today's price, about four fifty. So, um, like I said, you can get. I think you pay a lot for what you actually get. I mean, there's there's gold hardware with this one, and um, I don't know what this is called now. It's uh, it's beautiful. I, you can't really see if I do that. I don't know if you can actually see the actual color, but it's beautiful, beautiful. I know when I when I bought it um, from my local uh, music shop, um, it came as just a plain, um, like a plain color. And I said, oh, I want that one I ordered. So we sent it back and within about a fortnight it came back and I had the one I wanted. So I'm glad I did in the end. Um, I know it messed him around a bit, but right. So that's my electric acoustic bass. I'm so worried that something's going to fall over here. So just try and put it back in the rack a minute. Right, I'll just show you my 12 string. I won't play this one because I've not actually tuned it up. But this is an Aston 12 string. Um, I don't know if you can actually see. It's a beautiful colour as well. It's got like stripy bits in the actual thing. Absolutely lovely guitar. Um, yeah, so it's got a, a preamp and a built-in tuner. And I've I played this one, I think, on a song in my channel, um, Country Roads, I think it was. Um, it, it's, it's a devil to tune up, but once you've got it tuned up, it stays in tune nice. And um, but I'll, it's out of tune now, so I want to it'll take me about 20 minutes to tune up. But um, absolutely beautiful. That's an Aston. Um, I think it's a uh, SL29, uh, 12C, EG, T, S, B. T, S, B, that sounds good. Um, it was designed in um, Australia, I think. Um, like I said, it's got an onboard tuner and preamp. It uses the, let's see, I wasn't trying to bang it, it's there. Um, Jenny uses a, a square battery. The nine volt standard sort of battery and you can also plug it in with your free pin as well as your just your ordinary plug-in 
But um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. So that's an Aston, Aston, I should say. Beautiful. I know when I um, I bought this one off eBay. Then what did I pay for this one? I'm not quite sure. Um, Two hundred and something pounds. So it wasn't that really. It wasn't a lot of money, but um, it is a lot of money if you know what I mean. But um, not for this sort of. Because I think I looked at some of the reviews and it said that some of the actual frets aren't sort of sanded down very well. But on this one, I think I, I'm very lucky. This one's finished off really, really nice. So I'm not going to put it down because uh, it is a real, a real nice guitar. So that's my Aston um, 12 string. I think it was made in China, like a lot of uh, nice in instruments are. Um, I've got a couple from Indonesia and they're absolutely brilliant um, instruments. They are really, really well built. Um, like I said, it's designed in Australia and I think it's built in um, China, I think. But uh, that's a really, really lovely 12 string guitar. I wanted a, because I used to have a really old 12 string. Um, and in the end, I broke it. Because uh, I was tuning, I was um, tightening up so much that I actually broke it. <laughs> so, uh, and that was an old eco, I think. Um, I think it was Italian made those ecos, and they, they are really built well. But this one, the actual bridge was coming away. Um, I don't think it was right when I actually bought it. So um, I tried to stick it down, but because there's so much pressure on a 12 string when you're actually tuning it up. So, so never mind. That's the end of that one, but that was years and years ago. Um, so what we've got now, we've got a Fender. This is a fantastic instrument. Um, a Fender CD60CE. I think the new models now is a, a CD60SCE. Um, for around about the same money, it's about £200 to £250, um, depending what sort of model, really. Um, so it's got the standard um the standard nine volt battery in here um i mean some are here and some are back here this one's back here on this one um it's got a solid top uh, it's got a fishman preamp bass middle treble um onboard tuner with the active uh, nine volt standard uh rosewood fingerboard and spruce um, depending on which model, I think it's a spruce um, top, mahogany body. Um, I know when I had this, I bought this one actually second hand. I had a very good deal on it um, because it was about around about £200 about three years ago, this one. And I actually got it for about £130. So nobody actually bid it on me. So I was absolutely... Um, in the morning, I had a look and I thought, I've got it for 100 and, I think it's £130. So, like I said, a brand new one. It was only about 12 months old and there was not a mark on it. But the funny thing about it is, when I had it, I sort of shook it and it was rattling. I thought, oh God, what's, what's in there? I thought all the electrics had fallen to bits or something. So I looked in there and the actual, the cutout for the hole, when they cut it out, it went inside and they never bothered to take it out. I thought, whatever is it? I'm rattling, oh no. So I had to take all the strings off. I think I restringed it. I sort of put some new strings on actually. And I, I finally got this, this round bit of wood out. Um, I just got it out. I really pulled it hard. And uh, yeah, so that's a little story about my Fender CD 60 CE. So um, it's absolute. I mean, a lot of people say, why do you want so many guitars? I mean, I suppose it is true, really, because you, you get some musicians, they got a really, really run-down guitar, but they can really, really play, you know. And um, I don't know why us musicians sort of buy lots of guitars, but I think that we just love them so much. Um, I mean, I actually play every one of these in turn sort of thing. But, um, right, so that's my um, Fender semi-acoustic. Um, for about £250 now, if you wanted to buy one of those. So that's a beautiful sunburst, sort of um, absolutely lovely.
See if I can put it there without it falling down. So hopefully. So what have we got next? Um, we've done the Aston, we've done that. Um, my Yamaha. Now I've played, I've had this Yamaha for 20, 25 years, it must be. Um, it's been an old faithful. I played, I played this one um, in all the bands I've been with. Um, it must be nigh on 30 years, I think. In 1990-something, I bought this one. Um, it was quite a lot of money, actually, at, at the time. I think they wanted £600. This is um, music in print in Plymouth. Um, and then I, it was in a January sale for £500, and I, I knocked off another £50. So I had it for about £450. But um, it's electric acoustic. Um, it's a... It's got a 9 volt battery um, right here. Um, it's uh, FGX 800. No, it's not. That's the new version of, of this one. It's a um, an FGX stroke 412. So it's a 412. But the equivalent to this is the F. GX 800 um, but they have come down in price I think it's about 400 pound I was looking at for the um, for the 800 um, version 390 to like well we say free to 425 that sort of money um, so it's not really really big money and it's been a really absolutely brilliant guitar um, I used to plug it in when I was um, in bands, um, plug it in with my processor um, and all my pedals and everything, and it used to sound really great. Um, chorus, phaser, all the lot, you know. Um, yeah, I had like um like a four channel. I think I think it was a twelve channel. I think I had four four channels, but you could have it's either three or four each channel. So obviously, um, when you're playing a song, you've got to make sure you press the right button to get your sound for that song. I know one or two times it didn't work like that, but um, never mind. Um, the band had to stop and start again, but um, that's life. Um, right, so this is my Old Faithful. I'll play it. I played most of my um, YouTube covers and um, tutorials on this one. Um, as you know, I've just got a new Epiphone, so um, it might replace this one for, for a little bit. I change the strings every, I think now, but every three months. Um, obviously, when you're playing in a band, you've got to do it either every month or every two months, um, depending on what strings you actually buy. Um, so now I do it every, every three months. Um, all my instruments, really, if I've played them well, you know, I mean... Uh, the, the strings soon wear out actually it might even be two months i, I change them all, all depends what they sound like but then that's my that's my yamaha f g x 412 so that's my old faithful um yeah it's got a preamp um it's not got a built-in tuner but the actual battery goes in there right so that is that um, I must probably do one of my instruments twice. Um, so what have we got now? Ah oh, yes, this is a jumbo, a jumbo guitar um, by Vintage. Um, I ain't really got much in information about this, but this is a real, <coughs> a real jumbo sort of size, um, sort of the same size as my new Epiphone sort of thing. Um, it needs new strings, but the action's really, really low. It's got the vintage preamp with everything on there um, with your 12 volt battery in there it clips in nice there so it's um, semi-acoustic it's quite big as you can see and it's made by vintage I've actually got a vintage six string um, banjo which is really really great I think I've you might have seen that one on my channel so I'll show you that one in a minute. Um, yeah, I don't think it's made of really, really great materials, but um, it really does sound great when it's plugged in. Um, it's quite.
quite bassy. Yeah, it's quite bassy. But um, it looks rather yellow in this light because the sun is coming in. But um, yeah, it's quite. It's quite big, isn't it? It's uh, it's uh, what they call the the jumble size, but um, I think this is one about three hundred pounds at the time I've had it. Oh, 15, 16 years this one. So I've had once I get a, a nice instrument, I sort of keep it really because I sort of like I used to deal a little bit in buying and selling um guitars, so um, I know a little little bit about it. So this is my vintage, um, so what is it, can't really see that very well, um, a VCJ100N, so that's the model, um, it's got a nice brown sort of scratch plate, um, really 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 nice. Right, let's see if we can get that one back, um, it's massive. Right, so that one will go back there. So how are we doing? We must be getting there now. I'm glad I sold some because it would take too long, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, so we've done the crafter. Oh yes, this is sort of my holiday. I mean, some of these I keep in um, open tuning sort of thing, like open G or, or drop D tuning. Um, this one was in a drop D tuning not long ago actually, but I've I've changed it to just standard tuning. Right. This one here actually doesn't sound bad for a hundred pound. It didn't cost me a hundred pound, but um Yeah, I think this one's I think you can get this one on eBay, brand new, for £98. So I think I might have paid 60 for this one, um, second hand. Um, it was immaculate condition. Um, it's a stag. Um, it's nice black. Uh, and what is it? It's a, um, an NOD um, SG. 201BK. Um, so I had a look on eBay a minute ago and it, that is more or less the same model number. Um, so it's £98 to about £125, um, which is really, really great. You know, for, I mean, they say it's a beginner's, but really, I mean, when I got it, I, I got it home and I have uh, put a, a brand new set of strings on it. And my God, it sounded absolutely gorgeous. It's quite bright, you know. So if they say this is a beginner sort of um, guitar, I would um, disagree, really. Because um, it really, really does sound nice. Um, I know they, they make, you know, better ones and more expensive ones. But um, once you've got a decent set of strings on um, on the cheaper one, it really, really does sound really great. Um, right, so that's my stag. Um, I've got a stag. Um, which one is it? This one here is my stag um, soprano ukulele, um, and that was about fifty pounds. That one. So stag really is a is a great make, really great make, and um, I can't run them down because. As soon as I put that new set of strings on, it just brought it to life. So this one is my holiday. I don't know if you've seen pictures of my um, the camping. Um, we go camping every year, like a fortnight. And I, I generally take over this one, wrapped up in an old black bin bag on top of the car. So if it's raining, um, it might get a little bit damp. But um, yeah, so this, so this is my sort of holiday instrument. I sometimes take a ukulele with me. So, um, yeah, absolute brilliant. Right, so that's my stag. So I'll just put my stag, so I'll put it back in the rack if I can. Right, where is it to? There we are. 
screws to the back of my head. Right, so we've done the vintage, we've done the Aston 12 string, we've done the Fender, we've done the Yamaha. So now we got, this is a classic it's called, um, a Resonor guitar. I mean, you might have seen me playing this with a bit of doing like... Bit of blues on this one. Um, yeah, so it's called a classic. It's not a, a well-known make or a very expensive make. I think this was about £130. Um, brand new on eBay. I mean, um, when you actually save up and get a bit of birthday money or a bit of Christmas money, you can't always get the, the very expensive things. So um, I always wanted one of these. Um, it is a plug-in. It's not a plug-in one, is it? Yes, it is. I am actually used it as a plug-in one. But um, yeah, it's got its own little preamp with your nine volt battery, which is still in there. So um, that clips in there. So I must do that sometimes because I've got a, a decent amp um, to use with it. So um, that's my Resonor six string guitar. Um, really nice sounding. So if you can see that, it's, uh, it's well made actually, it's quite heavy. Um, I like this sort of long headstock. It's quite a long sort of old fashioned style, like the old Hofners. Um, I quite like that. So this is called a classic. So um, like I said, it's not a, a big brand name or anything, but um, yeah, I think it, it will really sound nice plugged in. I, I, I must do that. I haven't had this for a very long couple of years. I think it was a Christmas present, I think. Right, so that's that one. So now you know what's behind me now. Um, <clears throat> that. So now we've got... The vintage, I won't play this one because it is out of tune, but you have seen this one before. Um, I used to have a, this is a six string, which you can play like a guitar. Um, you can pick it like a guitar or a banjo. It, it, it's got that nice banjo-y sound. Um, but it's a six string, so it's a, a bit of a cheat really if you can't play the five string. But uh, I know I used to have a five string banjo and I just found it so hard with that octave G G note but um, I think now I most probably could play it better actually um, but yeah so this is a vintage that's the actual the name of the because if you if you type in vintage on eBay you get a lot of old sort of 60s 50s sort of instruments but this is the actual brand name is vintage. Um, absolutely beautiful. It's sort of like got a, a quite short neck on it because I think like the the the, um, the five five string would be a bit longer. It's got that octave G with the little wind. Um, but yeah, this is great. Um, I must play it more often. I I know I've said I was going to do some some uh, open tunings and that, but um, I I have a, a little bit, but not so much as I should have really. But yes, yeah, lovely lovely guitar. Um, I used to have, like I said, I used to have a, a five-string banjo. Um, absolutely beautiful. It, it had like um, like a light and dark wood um, back on it, sort of like a stripy back. So I, I sold that one on eBay, and I really, really regret it now because it was it was a actual vintage. Um, it was an eco make, which is made in, I think, Italy. Um, but it it was a vintage instrument. Um, I'm not quite sure how old it's got to be to be a vintage instrument. But um, is it 25? I'm not sure. 25, 30 years or even more than that even. Um, yeah, so I sold it. Uh, I had a good price for it because um, people knew what it was. So they were bidding against each other. But I do regret selling that one really because um, I had an eco guitar as well that was like very similar to the black 
bodied um, stag guitar I've got here. But uh, the old Eco, it had the fretboard that had like, it's quite pretty really. It had like different shapes on it. But um, right, so that is most, I have got a West Tone over there, which I am going to let somebody have. Um, I'll just get it for you a minute. It's um, it's a nice guitar actually, but one of my neighbours wants to have a little um, tinkle. So that's a West Tone. Um, it's it's made for priory guitars. Um, so it's an FCN Music. Uh, England um, so it's actually made in the Republic of China for England so um, it's called a West Tone it's got a beautiful what if you can see that sort of like a motley blue but um, I'm actually going to let a neighbor have this one because um, he wants to have a little tinkle so um, right so now I don't know if I can get my new instrument out I'm trying to because I have got a nice um, jumble size case and I'm hoping if I can get this out I'm hoping that my Epiphone will fit in this case but I'm not quite sure not quite sure at all so mind the lamp right so this is my new edition um, as you might have seen me unboxing it a couple days ago this is my Epiphone EJ200CE um, with a so solid spruce top and um, maple back and sides uh, with this lovely pear Lloyd inlay, a crown inlay it's called. Uh, beautiful, beautiful guitar. I've not really had much chance to play it yet, but um, hopefully things will get better next week because we've been on holiday for a fortnight. And we've been so busy uh, with the garden and helping our daughter with a new house. And um, yeah, so this is my new addition. Absolutely lovely. Um, it's got the, um, the preamp and everything and the built-in tuner as well. It's called a eSonic 2. So it's a, it's a brand new sort of um, preamp sort of thing. It's got a rosewood fingerboard and uh, gold hardware so all the tuning pegs are like gold colored sort of I don't know what it is really but uh, it sure does sound nice it yeah, really does sound really great it blows everything I've got in this room but um, I just couldn't sell some of these instruments here because they, they mean so much to me it's a part of history <laughs> my little history so right so that really is all my instruments i think it's seven seven or eight um i think it's five or six sort of acoustic guitars then you've got your 12 string and your your resonor sort of guitar um your banjo so it's hard to think that I can sit here and you can't you can't even see these um, instruments can you you might just see one poking out now and again but um, right so thanks for taking a look next time we might have a look at my ukuleles I've got it must be five or six of those but um, I just wanted to show you some of the instruments I got and uh, I don't think there's anything in the loft uh, nothing worth talking about really um, Right, so I'll catch you again. Cheers for taking a look. Bye.